Hello, my babushkas. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Cleansing and healing vibe to all of you. Cleansing and healing vibes around here while I'm doing my reading today. So, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't done a reading in or chatted with you guys in a very long time. I'm still nursing my ankle. But it's getting better and better every day. So the ones who keep passing their love and regard, thank you very much. I really appreciate your concern and you being a part of my healing journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks a million. Okay, so today, uh, I'm going to keep this candle aside. We are going to be doing reading for relationship and love okay this is a highly requested reading and as you guys know that a lot of you do message me on i mean dm me on instagram and email me thank you very much for that i truly appreciate and um the ones who regularly tune in on this channel i'm in gratitude thank you very much for being a part of this community i so appreciate and love you guys and the ones who are new right now clicked here for the first time welcome uh, luminous guide is a channel that is here to talk about positive lifestyle mental health awareness and i also do my uh, tarot counseling through this channel okay which is uh, on a monthly basis or as often as i can uh, I do tarot guidances for relationship, career mostly, and also do a lot of birthday readings. So if you like such kind of content, please do give me a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel. Also, when you subscribe to anybody's channel or you view their channel or like their content, it is easier for someone else also uh, to find this video, you know, and you never know who must be requiring it. So this is done here through an intuitive medium. So I hold the tarot cards, whatever information that I get through tarot as my tool and whatever information that I get intuitively is what I display here. All right. So stick by me. Uh, today is relationship and I've got a lot of requests for that. So I said, okay, it's a good day. Let me go ahead and talk about some relationship. I do feel um, just right off the bat right now that the next three days, isn't that 72 hours? Okay, that's going to be really, really crucial for some of you guys who are watching here because I'm channeling you guys and you may hear a lot of background noise especially car and bikes passing by let them leave leave it be try to you know come here whenever you get distracted um the next three days 72 hours is going to be absolutely crucial is because um i feel someone is falling in love you know and like how do I put this across? Uh, this is for someone really specific. So please take, although I'm doing reading for the group, but I'm channeling someone's energy who's watching here right now. Are you already in love with this person? He or she, I really do not know. Um, or somewhere that you're not able to talk about it because you have situations and conditions and circumstances right now that does not allow you to commit to this person a it could be that obviously there are some situations that's not allowing you to commit to the person but you're really really into this person and there's a thin line between love and being into somebody like 100 percent right um love is a very abstract word like word per se it's very abstract but what is sure is the feeling and 
someone's going to be extremely 100% sure about his or her feeling who's watching my view my my person who's watching here whether you're going to go and talk to this person about it or not that's your prerogative but you will start understanding your feelings maybe you worked on your feelings maybe you've started observing your feelings you've started understanding that it's not a like or an attachment you've started understanding that it's more than like or attachment you feel a little more you know what i mean like that's definitely for some or for this one specific person whose energy i've called upon right now do you want to know more this one person let me just check if i get something for you right now okay five of needles and knight of needles wow look at this energy and i've taken this um uh, you know i have this one theme card which is um the nightmare before christmas it's a tim burton movie if you do get an opportunity watch that movie this person whom i'm talking about right now whom i'm talking to um maybe um there's a message for you in this movie okay for the others who don't resonate with this i am going to continue with the reading okay but right now just let me complete with this person's energy i have picked up so let me just um just help this person get off his or her misery you know what um you guys the one who's resonated and the one whose energy i've picked up you've gone through hell and you're back you've gone through hell in your past relationship and you're back um and in your past relationship i think you are the one who've tried a lot like very very hard and and somehow it didn't materialize with this person whoever the other person in your past relationship you were with and hence and this person that you're thinking about who i told you about the one that you have immense amount of feelings that's not a rebound that's not something that's like okay jump on the next situation not at all that's something solid you can see something solid happening but for whatever situation you are not talking about it maybe you are still learning uh and getting a grip on your emotion but um you sort of you know in your head start comparing your previous relationship sub subconsciously and you kind of call out the difference and you feel oh my god this person whom i'm not giving a commitment i wish i had met this person earlier because it would have remained so solid for the rest of my life yeah okay i have to go back and read for the others as well so if you've connected with me here and you need a complete reading email me and dm me and i'll help you further all right so let's start the other reading for the collective in relationship so thank you dear divine universe archangel michael all the angels and saints and spirit guides thank you for coming here and giving me the message that i need to deliver to the people what is the message for the collective that has tuned in here what is the message for the collective that has tuned in here all right so three cards flipped yeah yeah we have the judgment we have four of needles and we have 10 of presents <laughs> wow <laughs> all right all right all right okay <clears throat> this is for the collective okay and what i see here is a lot of you are looking for like this 100% full on uh, great relationship see like the ones who already have a great relationship i mean this is not for you this is for the ones who are not sure how to go about what do you do next and all of that and also for the singles which i'll be reading a little later but this is for the collective right now is that you know you have done your pros and cons you have done like the whole writing journaling down maybe literally for some of you for some of you it's a mental map that you've created you have like 
really gone into introspection i feel for a lot of you over here have taken the break gone into introspection rested well and worked on understanding what went well what went what did not go well in all your past and previous relationships and based on that now you've created a checklist maybe not literally but yes mentally we do all have a checklist okay whether you admit it or no and you're going to stick by your checklist earlier maybe you could compromise and think oh this person um say for example is tall like i'm tall okay so i need somebody who's tall but but i used to settle for a person who's short because i thought that um that's okay we don't get everything in life but then i realized what i'm doing is i'm only looking at the outer attributes that's not exactly what your checklist is supposed to say my friend if you want a solid committed relationship you got to talk in your checklist about the nature of the person the connection that you have with the person not dark hair tall person you know what i mean these are outer attributes this is aesthetic aesthetics are great for attraction but if you're looking for for a 10 like a 10 of presence here like a 10 a completion in security in good family life with kids or or irrespective if you're looking to go on a 10 on 10 then what you're doing is you're looking at wrong things you're looking at aesthetic you're making a checklist of what i used to do which i used to do like tall dark handsome six feet plus or uh, you know like having a job or whatever i'm looking at the outer but i was not looking at the inner the inner for me now since i'm into spirituality and i I would really love somebody who understands my spirituality and my way of life and work. So what are the attributes that helps me with a healthy relationship is the other aspect of life that's more of the inner that touches my soul and my heart. That's the list that you need to draw here my my people. Okay? So if you've not been doing that, you've been manifesting wrong. believe you me you've been manifesting wrong because you can get somebody who's tall dark handsome why not law of attraction works but you didn't mention how his or her heart needs to be the connection needs to be you know what i mean so that's what you got to really look into when it comes to relationship you guys okay and i'm going to put this reading as a timeless reading so whenever whoever clicks on this this is your reading wow those two just wanted to flip right away okay let me just check <gasps> look at this at the bottom of the deck of this card is the fool i don't know why i didn't do that why didn't i check look at this the fool card so beautiful take a leap of faith you guys take a leap of faith that's exactly what i was talking about your attributes should be your faith involved in it take a leap of faith look at this jack walking with zero this is such a beautiful movie it changed my life and five of coins and nine of swords wow wow let me just clarify more in this someone one of you or whoever watching this needs to get into your power not power of dominance power of love and relationship like i think over the past you were losing your charm is what i get as the word the spirit guides are telling me to tell you to get back in your charm <laughs> you know a lot of you must be feeling left out and cold with your past relationships i keep seeing the wheel of fortune and i'm going back now to the collective people that in the next 3 days something very magical is going to happen to a lot of you okay in the next 3 days something very very magical is going to happen to a lot of you in terms of relationship and love believe you me and if it does hit me up okay let me know 
something extremely magical in the next three days from whenever you're watching this video to the next three days something really really magical is gonna happen look at this the tower card a major arcana major life change you guys something really magical is gonna happen something that's gonna hit your soul very very hard and it's gonna give you a moment of realization about your person about your person it's going to give you a moment of realization at the back of the deck here is the magician card you 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 the one who's watching you are the deciding factor here whether you want to be with this person for the rest of your life this person whom you look at as as your confidante somebody whom you can speak with somebody whom you can communicate with somebody who has the checklist in place not just in aesthetic but also in what you feel a connection should be and i think i was it's it's just for all of you okay that's that's the magic you need to display you guys that's going to happen in your life in the next 3 days there's going to be a moment of realization somehow something is going to hit you and you're going to let me know about it <laughs> and look at this at the bottom of the deck four of wands literally a marriage card not necessarily a marriage but you want this person you so want you desire you need this person in your life and you want to so give this person a commitment rather than you know wanting to be with other people uh, i mean this is just going to resonate with whoever it resonates okay you want to give this person commitment but whatever is stopping you in the next three days there's going to be a self-realization and maybe that's going to hit you hard okay for the ones who are absolutely single abs 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 absolutely single <laughs> Dear Divine Universe, Angels and Spirit Guides, please help me for the ones who are absolutely single. Is it safe for them to do what they want to do? <laughs> Let's check this out. Absolutely single, like zero. Single, like single as a stick. Okay. Go ahead. Like go ahead, you singles. Go ahead. Chat, flirt, go out on dates. Do what the hell you want to because you're in the safe zone right now. You're in the safe zone. Do what the hell you want to. And some of you who are absolutely single, you have your knight in shining with on the white horse. Maybe literally, maybe metaphorically coming for you. And that's going to be your deciding factor. They're going to get into a lot of passion, 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 passionate romance, new love, new beginning. Wow. Very nice. For some of you, I just got a message. There's somebody from the past is trying to knock at your door. Whether you want to open the door for this blast from past, it's your prerogative. Okay. It's absolutely your prerogative. Let's check from the lover's oracle what is the message. What's the message from the lover's oracle? Dear divine universe, spirit guides and angels, thank you. The divine universe spirit guides and angel thank you i have charms here i'm gonna pull some charms a little later these cards are like really difficult in shuffling uh but when i say difficult things will get even more difficult so it's getting better <laughs> shuffling is getting better okay look at this card okay <gasps> <laughs> Sexual union. Ah, ah, ah. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. You know guys, how do I say this? Sex is a very integral part of life, no doubt. But more than sex, there's so much of love making and respect and honor and the pre-conversation, the post-conversation. How do you make each other feel is so important. And when you have your soul connected with, with each other, everything else, which is a physical device, follows so truly and effortlessly. You know what I mean? That's what Spirit Guide is trying to tell you. Another card. I'm getting drawn to one more. Let's check.
Dear Divine Angel Spirit Guides, thank you. Okay, I think it's more than one. Oh, there are too many. Let me just take one. Sorry, too many. Just take one. Let's pull one. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. This is such a beautiful message. And it is so true, right? We just hop on without letting go. So if you're not able to let go of your past emotions that have still burnt, you'll, you'll get burnt out. Simple as that. So you got to surrender the old before something new in your life, before like giving that giving space to something new you gotta make space for it right okay do ask a yes or no question right now pause this video take a deep breath ask a yes or no question right now regarding your relationship okay not anything else just for your relationship at this point in time the answer may either be a yes or a no from angels or you may also receive a possible advice for the answer that you're asking so do ask, pause this video, take a deep breath, center yourself, do ask a yes or a no. And the answer would either be a yes or a no. Or you may receive a possible advice. Yes or a no. Or a possible advice. Dear Divine Angel Spirit Guides and Ancestors, please help you. Dear Divine Angel Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Right now, the answer says no. Okay, so whatever is your question for now, the answer is no. Maybe I'm getting a message here, guys. Maybe you are not fully prepared. And you are going through some repulse situation, maybe, okay? I don't know if this resonates with you, but let me just clarify something here. Why is there a no? No could be a good answer for some of you who is watching here. And no could even be like a not a great answer for some of you. So take what resonates. But I just need to clarify why is there a no card here. I have a feeling it's because there's a divine timing ready there's there's a play of divine timing you guys i have a feeling okay so let me check oh my god that's too many cards dear divine cards are jumpy dear divine angels spirit guides and ancestors why is there a no card here why is there a no card here why is there a no card here Oh my gosh. You're waiting for some sort of justice. You're waiting for some sort of paperwork also. It's a possibility. Some legal thing is still going on. You know what I mean? It's you. There is something happening. There's a situation why you're not able to get a yes for the ones who think no is not a great answer there's some some nitty-gritty that you're stuck in for some of you i feel it's some sort of legal paperwork as well okay take how it resonate guys i just wanted to clarify and before i leave you be let's check what are the charms coming up to you in your relationship Uh, so you have a specs here which is talking you know sometimes how you look at things from rose colored glasses but in your relationship you gotta take off that glass you gotta look at it from an inner perspective look at it from your intuition okay because look at this there's a mask and there are these glasses but ideally if you go to see both of them cover your eyes 
one is for you to see better and the other one is for you to hide something right what is it that you are hiding from this person or what is this person hiding from you you there's so much more that you need to find out about this person maybe this person is really not hiding maybe you want to know more wear on your 3d glasses to know more you gotta know this person in depth and i feel a lot of you watching here are really intrigued about this person like you find this person absolutely open to talk to but also mysterious at the same time you know what i mean and that's very attractive about this person to you okay it's absolutely attractive about this person to you maybe like the kind of accessories he or she wears is very like intriguing and attractive and also somebody is either going to give you <laughs> flowers or you're going to give this person flowers or there is something about flowers tulips orchids roses that resonates in your relationship so these are all the charms you guys and this is your reading if it did resonate with you please give me a thumbs up like share subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon and uh, keep watching luminous guide i really appreciate you being here till we meet again bye bye